What's up everybody, it's Tyler with TGM Bartending and Mixed Up with TGM. Thanks for joining me with another episode. Super excited about what's coming up in the future. We have a lot of things in the mix. I know we say that all the time, but we're gonna start bringing you quality stuff. We got new filming locations, we got new special guests coming on. We got a whole bunch of good stuff. This week I am super, super excited um, about sharing this legendary rye white whiskey with you. A couple of weeks ago I was in Iowa and anytime I've kind of made it a, a thing now that I go around trying to find local whiskeys or bourbons or rice from that area, especially small towns, especially a place in the Midwest like Iowa, Nebraska, anything like that, because it's all locally grown. It's all corn, like 100%. It, it's amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, you got to be careful though if you're looking for anything local because sometimes they do outsource it to a uh, let's just call it a bourbon farm in Kansas City. Um, I ended up buying some stuff in Washington that was supposed to be local. It was a, it was a Washington name, but they actually bottled and distilled and mashed in Kansas City and then imported, exported whatever to Washington. Uh, kind of a bummer because you had to pay for that and then all the liquor tax on top of it. And it was awful, horrible, horrible thing. The bourbon, not the experience. This stuff, um, I just happened to be cruising through a high V liquor store and I found it on a shelf. The label caught my attention and I knew it was a local and I knew it was a small organization because the label really wasn't on uh, properly. It looks like it's kind of wrinkled. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't see that in the video. Um, but it was put on, it was crooked, it's wrinkled. That lets me know that it's, it's, a, it's a local, it's a small thing. They don't have a big bottling plant. They probably have a couple dudes in there throwing labels on these things. Uh, quick background, this is legendary rye white whiskey. Um, a couple in Iowa, they uh, wanted to get back to the prohibition roots in the Midwest from the 20s and such. So they uh, used a recipe that is uh, similar to Templeton Rye, uh, another local Iowa. I'm not gonna get into it. There's a big thing going on about Templeton Rye and not really being from Iowa and all this. You can look it up if you want. Uh, it's irrelevant to what this has going on because these guys are not affiliated with Templeton. Um, I tried it. I love it. I think it's a great, great rye whiskey. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick, you know, give you, give you my thoughts on what it, the smell, pour some in a glass give you my thoughts on the taste, um, and then I'm gonna mix it with a couple little products and give you my thoughts on that. And again, if you can find it, it's great. Look them up on, on Facebook. They're on the uh, Legendary Rye, what is it? Iowa Legendary Rye on Facebook. Find them, like them, and uh, it's just a, it's a cool little couple, right? A couple hours outside of uh, Des Moines trying to bring back the prohibition style um, products and I, I respect them for that because that's a great era all right now let's get into it pop off the cork you really upon first smell you really get my opinion is you really get almost a red wine cabernet maybe merlot smell out of it i don't smell anything harsh it's very smooth it's very subtle it's very, very inviting. Like, I, I, it's just, I almost want to RSVP to drink this. That's how inviting it is for me. Um, so, I'm gonna pour some in a glass, a little bit here. Let's taste it. Uh, I've been, I've been mixing a little bit, playing with different mixes. I haven't had a chance to taste it straight yet, so this is gonna be a first for me. <clears throat> definitely a rye and you definitely get the rye taste out of it but it's it's smooth it's very very smooth and I could see any vodka fanatic actually drinking this uh, straight it almost has that uh, vodka taste uh, not taste but the remnants of a vodka like it, it, it really reminds me of a of a vodka and I think it's great it's clear as I said it's the white whiskey unaged 
Never touched the barrel, never seen the, the darkness of the of the uh, charred barrel. So let's throw some ice in there. And I'm gonna mix it with another product that I found recently um, on Facebook. It came through my timeline. It's Curious Traveler, it's a lemon shandy. They make a bunch of different products. Uh, it's put out by the Travel Beer Company. Lemon shandies are, and shandies in general are very, very popular right now. Um, it's just basically lemon flavored beer. This is a wheat ale brewed with lemon peels, and I'm gonna mix it in a little bit with the legendary and see what kind of flavor we get from that. It's fizzy, um, it's still very light. Smell the lemon. And it's great, it, it's very smooth, don't even taste the uh, rye in it. I get a very subtle, almost hefeweizen taste out of it. Which, if you've ever tried any of these shandies, they're very lemony, um, which they're supposed to be. But this one really mellows it out to almost just a plain wheat beer with a squeeze of lemon in it. So next, I'm gonna fill up my other glass here with some ice. I'm gonna get it out of my ice bucket here. By the way, you like the backdrop? I'm here in Vegas, hanging out. We're gonna do a quick video hanging out in the room. Got the back background going, some lights. It's a good time. Throw a little bit in here, a little bit more. And this, we're just gonna mix with some plain lemonade. You can make your own lemonade. You can pick it up off the store. Up to you, how you wanna do it. Give it a little swirl, swirl. And you can taste the, uh, well, I can taste the uh, rye more in this than I can in the other one. They're both great cocktails. They'll both be super refreshing. <clears throat> be super refreshing on a summer day. With a lot of ice packed in there, fill them up. Probably drink these uh, all summer long and you'll have a great time. Um, hope you enjoyed this. This is uh, the Legendary Rye White Whiskey Sampling. And just stay tuned. We got plenty more coming, uh, plenty more exciting stuff to bring to you. Enjoy, and please like us on Facebook, like us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and check these guys out on Facebook and see all the cool stuff that they're doing over there in Iowa, in the Midwest that people don't really pay attention to. Enjoy, have a good day, have a good night, and just be safe.